So with a cart. Loz around Potato City. Just uh, gonna go and do a little bit of shopping. So I just thought I'd show you a shortcut to get to Central Marina if you're staying in the Sabai Resort. So if you come from the Deluxe A rooms and you turn left, go down there, that means you have to walk all the way past the swimming pool, reception and bar. But we know a quick little shortcut that gets us to uh, Central Marina quite easily. We can just wander up here. This is the staffing area, but they don't mind. And then we walk around the corner. As I say, this is where the staff have their meals and their breaks and so on and so forth. And that's obviously more of the Sabai Resort, Ruin Thai Pool. And then we head through this gate. Ready to go. And now we uh, can cross this road without getting splad, hopefully. Uh, up a couple of steps. So it saves walking all the way round and out onto second road. Makes life a little bit easier. And there you have it, Central Marina. Oh, no smoking. Two thousand baht fine. Oh, lovely. Once you're in the marina, Central Marina, it's all nicely air conditioned. Supermarket shops. And normally as a rule I'm heading down towards Food Park, so I'll just show you where that is. Uh, food Park's got a fair selection of food, reasonably priced. I've eaten there quite a few times, never had any problems with it. More shopping if you fancy it. more shopping mm. uh, there you go there's obviously uh, another floor to this but I'm not gonna go up there now I'm gonna head up the road uh, but there you go that is the uh, food park you come to this counter here, you get a card, normally 200 baht, covers, covers one person, order your food, and then whatever's left over, you bring the card back to this desk, and they'll give you what's left over. So that's just a quick look around. We're going to head out this way, back out into the walk. So that's just a little look at Central Marina by day. Changes at night, so uh, we'll just have a little walk out here and just as they're probably it's 20 to 3 in the afternoon, so they might be setting up a few 
few bits and pieces for tonight. Uh, as you can see, the stalls are getting ready for tonight. So I might come back tonight just to show you what Central Marina looks like in the evening. Plenty of variety of food here. I'll walk up this way then. Sure, you it's very hot today 32 degrees, but that's why I come to Thailand for the nice weather. So, that is Central Marina getting ready for tonight. We'll take a little walk up the road. Just to show you afternoon time in Pattaya, North Pattaya. Uh, so they've got some more food outlets here. If you're interested in a, a mad cow burger. Not too sure about that one. Have a look at it later. Starbucks. Ooh. Well, it is low season. We expect it to be a little bit quieter than usual. You still have to be very wary of the roads here. The motorbikes come at you from all angles. show you uh, this place it's a uh, traditional Thai massage and I've been in here a few times and I can highly recommend it it is oh, so it's a bit early I understand now but uh, even the other night it wasn't it wasn't much better than that And then you've got all these new bars here, they've sprung up. Oh, and here you have it. Terminal 21 with this massive hotel next to it, Grand Centre Point. Not too sure about the prices in there. I don't think they'll be cheap. But we'll just walk a little bit here just to give you some idea of how big how big Terminal 21 is. Uh, you have a H&M. Mm. Mm. There you have gate number one. And 
if you walk up a little bit further, I think there's up to five gates. Yeah, we've also got a big food food place in there to eat as well, which is yet again same as reasonably cheap with good food. So you'll see a lot of Thai people in there. So that's gate number one. Gate number two. I'm pretty certain it goes up to gate number five. Well, if you come to Terminal 21, you could make a day of it because it takes a hell of a lot to walk around and there's quite a few floors that are all themed for different countries so that just gives you a, a rough idea of how big it is I mean, there's also supermarkets in there and uh, another service I use Kerry Express like a parcel delivery service which is very good sent a parcel on Tuesday and it arrived on Thursday so it was a good service so there you have it that's terminal 21 and that is second road that is the Dolphin roundabout and that is North Patia Road which should take you up to Patia bus station that gives you some idea of the vastness of it all but the good thing inside it's all air conditioned so you can walk around nice and cool well, that's all I wanted to do on this so uh, like share subscribe leave a comment speak to you soon